Good evening, I'm Jen Carlman. This is the Fox 5 News at 5, and we begin tonight with a six-hour SWAT standoff that just ended in La Mesa. Story, I feel like just for his sake, he should keep running, and I know he beat the second-place person by just 11 seconds. Sharon, thank you. Well, among the thousands of runners today, our very own Fox 5 Morning Show reporter, Heather Ford. Heather is on the phone with us right now. Heather, can you hear us? Hey, Jen. How are you doing? We're doing great. First of all, congratulations. 20 all right, next here at five, call it the pollen vortex. Why your daily routine may be doing more harm than good for your allergies. Well, if you get a phone call from someone saying there is a warrant out for your arrest and you're really not wanted, beware. The San Diego Sheriff's Department says scammers are posing as deputies and they have a very convincing pitch. The scam artists already have some of your personal information, like your birthday or former address. They then threaten jail time if you don't pay a fee. Authorities say they will never contact you by phone and demand money. And then flew away to Maui. Yes, but authorities are baffled at how the 16 year old survived after a six hour flight inside the wheel well of a Boeing 767. Not going to press charges against him. They probably are thinking he's been through enough of an yeah, ordeal. <laughs> that is an unbelievable story, not just the fact that he survived, but we saw this with One World Trade Center recently, that a young man was able to scale a fence and walk right, right to the top of One World Trade Center and now an airplane, and it's incredible. That, like, yeah, what's with the going on with our security? That we need right now, oh. that, uh, that's even possible. But the fact that he survived, that's... Yeah, and Kyle, 50 that is, below uh, zero. You know, we I've were talking about that. I've managed today to sneak inside the weather center. I mean, yes. how did that happen? <laughs> the news director sitting in there, he's still at... When this happened, yes. All right, next, talk about an ouch. Take a look. And finally, I know it's sort of past Easter, but this guy takes uh, coloring eggs to sort of a whole new level.